will be that first team moving over into the... I don't know if they're going to have the damage to block KP before the reaction comes to his blacklist. They've already read this perfectly. Carl's going to be here with the Rolling Thunder. They want to try and target down no one with a combination. They'll blow up the Invoker. He chucks a tornado out on his dying breath, which will help get the kill onto the Doom. And SMG, they're going to bring some extra numbers in as well, but Mastros... Yeah, he got too close on their awards. Get caught Look, there. Stop with the Ice Blast. He'll be able to land the Doom as well, but the Ice Blast just off the mark. He's dead. He got the connection, got the pass through. Now, Mastros is in trouble as well. Surge on Kudan. Carl's going to be able to catch up to him. This is a much needed couple of kills for Blacklist. Did they see him? Yeah, they did. Afu oh, jumps over the top. Great time with the force up there. Oh, no, both supports. Ah, oh, yeah, he'll make sure there's no opportunity for the supports being able to escape. No one's about to run into him. It's actually Afu that starts over towards Raven. Meanwhile, KP is going to find the Doom onto the Bloodseeker as well. It's a decent start to the fight for the Blaze on Blacklist, but can they get more out of this? As Carl charges up the Rolling Thunder, Mastros an aggressive job. Oh, the double clipping. Sends two people onto the high ground. Cuckoo will get forced down. Raven can blink down as well. They caution. Now they can go back in with the Doom on cooldown. SMG. A Beautiful dance. It was in and out they went, and now they see the opportunity to be able to check these down the remaining members as KP will TP out. Timson and Carl should be able to run themselves away. Could be massive. That ward's going to be devastating. Oh, that. Starts on to Raven, who will be able to turn with the gold trend BKB as well, but this is multiple seconds of his combo just wasted onto a support, and he's still stuck in the trees. Rupture out onto Carl as well, so he's going to be bleeding. As mid one now looks to KP, a disastrous defense of the high ground. And they're going to be reliant on their buybacks. KP will use it in sleep. Raven's going to get another jump in. His goth trend's expiring surely. KP will find an opportunity here with the Doom. They'll turn to the Aegis. As well. They've been able to isolate mid one on the first life. Can they kill him a second time though? As SMG, they still have multiple members nearby to be able to protect him off the back of the respawn. And now mid one is actually going to try and turn to be able to chase down KP. As a die back out of the Doom. And SMG, what's the call now? Do you want to stick around some for some Objectives or not. The backdoor protection going down, the creeps are coming in. Mid one. Could do Bragnik in here, but I think they should run away. No, that seems to be satisfactory to him. If he sees a key target, I even do Rubik here. This time it's onto the Rubik. This time Raven's gonna be able to find an opportunity to stop with the Sprout. Let's wave it on the wrong side of the wall. They're still gonna be able to get the turn around. A decent turn here for the boys, but it looks like no one, all the attention was put onto the Bloodseeker, so the Invoker should be able to clean up. Somehow Raven's able to get back further inside the base. Jenny was trying to catch up to him, and they'll snipe him down under the T4. Double buyback. Backs. They're vital for the turnaround on Blacklist. They'll be able to catch up to Genuel. Mastros will surge away on the right side, but Blacklist wants to make sure that no one can escape with their own lives, and they will be able to shut them down. It does cost them... No one. Oh, look at the ghost walk. Instant BKB. No one's not going to mess around. I'll get confirmation of where they are. And now Arthur's got a hook shot. We saw that Raven previously had to start the fight. And this time, was well, going to be able to turn to get the kill onto Arthur, who's got a buyback. But they've wasted the BKB. And they can just wait for the God Strength as well. Blacklist, they need to go again. And they need to go. Oh, you're into being in Dude, he just keep it straight on top. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. What the hell, man? Freebie. Sven, uh, thinking about it. Okay, well, Raven, an aggressive start in. See what you turn to the advanced. Raven, Raven! He's got a buyback, there's a buyback on him! And now KP as well, he's gonna be ruptured. Oh my oh, god, dude. He's to turn with the building soon. That's just it. It's a big opportunity. I mean, that's just it. In two minutes, he doesn't have buyback. He jumped in, Doom wasn't with him. But that was just disjointed, man. He's got buyback in 30 seconds. They're actually gonna try and go before the potential for Sven to respawn. They want to deal with the first five. Falcon East is closer inside the base. Carl's able to find a good combo and deal with the ages early on. And get off Maceros. Oh, there's no follow-up though. Wall still on cooldown. It's gonna protect mid one at least off the back of the respawn. They're gonna deal with the objective. Oh, this ball back here. He sets up for the ice blast. It's just not enough though. It is not enough. And now the tornado, no one is gonna Seven, two, one. Sven's gonna be up in a couple of seconds with the buyback. Can use it now, but he doesn't have the members to fight with. As SMT, they're on the full retreat, but Raven's gonna stop them short with the slot them on to two. KP's got the full retreat. Again, that's what this time.
sadly for Carl and Cuckoo here. They do not have any friends anymore. Daniel trying to go on him. Force. Nice force from no one. Gets him out and no threat now. I mean, the potential to maybe blow one person and they know it as well. G's are dropped. Nothing left in the tank for the boys on Blackleaf. S and G. They'll take game one at 49 minutes in. And now they are one for booking their ticket into the grand floor. They're going to be able to close the distance onto Januel. MP, along with the cold snap, Cuckoo, not going to go down. Tornado, probably not enough damage. Oh, it actually is. Okay, no one. Able to get him secure with a kill from afar. No one's still got some remnants of some DD to work with. Telkinese is in the last second. Carl's going to be able to get some separation. Oh, see you, James. The chains land from the Evoker. Nicely done, Carl. Still, though, looks like they are uh, pretty confident on the SMG going in. Oh, Ench. No one, though, back in as well. Combo's a little bit wayward. And meanwhile, Carl, he's going to try and jump over the top as well. But the chain's up in a couple of seconds. No one's still got a tornado to try and disrupt them. It's a perfectly placed one at that, but it's just not going to matter in the end. It's blackly. Okay, finally, they're looking to get active. Straight to Mass Frost, they go. Doom's still going to be able to find the ultimate. I mean, it's just lots of a Rubik. It's not really the most valuable target. That tornado from no one is huge. Just gives them some seconds to reposition. Raven, uh, we're still going to chuck the Eclipse with a Ravage. Everything dumped on the head of Masteros. And now Carl, he can also jump over the top to be able to close the distance on to Januar. Like, we can look to play with a swap. Not going to get caught by the stun. And helps Raven make it back to the high ground as well. But look at the backline stats. Masteros flying to Doom. Supernova's out before the Ravage. They're going to turn to be able to deal with the egg. But still, Raven, uh, he's going to be brought down with ease. And our mid one's got a free fight with the alacrity buff given over to him. They'll turn to Cuckoo. Won't get him released the cold snap is quick from no one to stop the tide hunter tp so it's gonna pop it now mid one they're all pumped up breaks it's done to one kp oh they just blew it up oh mid one disappeared they're still gonna be able to chase the lunar down all commitment now solely put onto her they'll be rewarded off the back of the kill but what's the call from blacklist carries up dead it's a fight you want to take kp's gonna swing on over you've got carl here as well and the ember knows nothing to fear they use Every single ability onto Raven. So Carl can just run on forward. Multiple heroes showed down bottom. They instantly need to go through the read a little bit too late. He can activate the BKB. It's being on fine at the moment. Meanwhile, mid one was able to assassinate the Ventral Spirit. No ravage here for Blacklist. This is looking a little bit messy with their numbers disadvantage. KP caught on the low ground. And there's no way that Masteros is already looking for the plus one. Quick on the chains, though. Helps get some breathing room for boys on Blacklist. But Afu's going to be in with the Hex. It will not matter, though. That should be Roche for free, though. SMG is still hunting. Mid one. Ooh, ho, ho. It's a lot of damage. And now they get the Doom on a Raven as well. He can activate the beacon if required. Mid one's going to go for the secondary spot. They've got buybacks and they'll need them out of Blacklist. Further inside the base, the hunting goes as KP uses a defensive ravage. When are the buybacks going to come out? Because they're starting to go deeper and deeper. The punishment needs to be there for the instant beacon. Be oh, no slow. Astros will make it. And they all get out too. Carl's on the hunt. But a tornado from no one gets some distance. Johnny Wells still in danger. Are they even going to lose him, man? SMG. This retreat has been perfect for them. They have expended multiple buybacks, and all they will get is a kill onto the Enchantress. You can oh, mid one's ready to go. They're going for it. Should be able to pop. Oh, oh, it's an unnecessary do, but who cares? It's going to be back up in 80 seconds. They will get the kill onto the Phoenix inside the river, but they are hunting. Mid one wants more blood. They set up a trap, though. Mid one runs straight to them. Now Raven, can he get down to the low ground? He's going to find some distance away so mid one will just turn for the easy kill but smg they are not done just yet maceros he's chasing hunting raven being able to sniff him out there is no escapers oh they will catch up to him in the front of the base raven goes down without a buyback and maceros as well jumps up over towards tim's telekinesis will buy some time but what is there to fear a push away thanks to the headband the team got caught out as well and now this is going to be first lane of racks and he may lose more. Luna is down for 45, 40 seconds on bench. Ember's is trying all he can to defend here. Uh, Blacklist, I mean, their their lineup is strong. If Look at this ward. Oh, oh no. Look at this ward. Oh my lord, it's giving quick reaction. Though. Information. Mean one's gonna jump Raven, so it means the Luna can never freely run.
right click inside the fight. They'll turn over towards the north. A quick and easy kill. I mean, KP is able to get out of danger, but it is just chaos. And she's holding. Look at her. And it comes. Says Cuckoo won't escape. Meanwhile, Raven's gonna try and go through the portal, but mid one cleaves him to the love, dude. If this enchantress that runs up, oh, they might have seen Raven. I mean, they're gonna start on the enchantress. Oh, the dude. Shot just a spell casting. They will be that first team to make it.